Hello, hello, welcome to Quack Loop. Thank you for being here. We fit 51 games in the ultimate Is that gaming. All? What do you mean? I do so much better at conventions. Oh, you're ridiculous. No, I legit. 51 I, games, Shira. I, that's you probably took all of the little pocket games that we own and fit them in here. That's it. You cheat at stuff like that. I this. didn't cheat. There's literally Zombicide in here. No. Yeah, there's absolutely Zombicide in here. We have too many bones inside this bag. I'm telling you, I packed it. This is our best friend. To the at absolute conventions brim. and in general in life. It's the ultimate gaming backpack. I, I mean, yeah. granted, we haven't tried all the gaming backpacks yet, but this gaming backpack from Board Game Tables is amazing. When we're at conventions, we swing by, pick one up, and usually spend the rest of the con filling it and distributing the games back to our car. Yeah, we basically, we, we get one on like the first day of the con, we fill it up that day, take it every back to wherever we're staying, unload it, bring it back empty the next day, and so on and so forth. And what you, the audience, don't see is, is, is this, right? Unless you're there experiencing it. Now, Board Game Tables is doing another launch of this backpack over on Kickstarter. They have a multitude of colors coming. I'm hoping, if they don't already have it, I'm hoping yellow. they have yellow, like bright yellow. If they don't, we're gonna have words. They're gonna have brand new colors, a new iteration of the backpack, and probably, hopefully, some of their titles specifically. If you haven't picked up, uh, if you haven't picked this up- This is already the second iteration, by the way, because yeah. this one has metallic. It's already sturdier than the I first one. I was in the middle of saying, though, if you haven't picked up Ghosts of Christmas, it, it is- You enjoyed it? One of the best games of the year coming from them. Okay, that's let's not the point of this video. The point of this video- Let's see how cheated and packed this bag. No, the point of this video is to break down and show off just how insane our travel bag, and this is games we would bring with us. So we're gonna talk to you about the games we're gonna walk you through. By the way, this video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. We just thought this would be a funny video to do. All right. Oh, you didn't even pack it the right way. You're supposed to be able to stand it up and slide them in like a shelf. I, you can totally stand this up and slide them in like a shelf like Zombicide is here. But uh, I, I, I had to do you it. You got the base box was on the side, not the rest. All right, let's pull this over and let's start talking about all the uh, insanity in this bag. And it is packed to the brim. We got a Rad copy Lance. of Radlands, which is fantastic, which you need to play with me still so as well. I, of course, am going to sneak in a little RPG. Alice is missing, still in shrink, because I haven't had a chance to play it yet. Like the rest of your RPG games that you never play ever, But it ever, comes ever. with me on my trips. Crimson Company is going to be a lovely little lane battler, which we were supposed to play in Florida when this bag had been packed previously, and we haven't had the time yet. Hive! Oh, I actually don't like Hive. You don't like Hive. No. We're probably getting rid of it, <laughs> uh, which is going to be in a shelf or sell episode soon, but... We're not even going cheap with a space here. This I is like carbon. power plants better than high. This is carbon edition, which is a chunky boy. We have GPS Mountain Goat Sequoia that's from the board expansion. Game Do you that's have the others? The base game. Here's the base game. Here's the base game. These are all from Board Game Tables, the company that makes this backpack. Uh, These are all lovely. iterations of like rolling dice and just trying to get different scoring. They're things. lovely little puzzle games. I act I actually like every single one of these. Uh, we have two decks of Keyforge, just in case we uh, want to play a head-to-head -head lane Keyforge. battle. We haven't. I have. You're missing out. Little solo game uh, from Token Terrors. Yes. I need to teach you the big base game, but this is the pocket size one that I like yeah. to bring with me to, uh, solo. you know, hit a... Oh! One of <laughs> my favorite games of this last year, Rolling Realms with Stonemeyer. Amazing little uh, roll and write. Yes. Okay. Do you know about this game? We picked this up when we were... <laughs> Don't do that. Stop that. <laughs> Shira, stop. You're throwing my games off. They can't see it anyway. It's not funny for them. You quit this. Alice, come here. Okay. Like three games just went flying off the end <laughs> they of the They heard table. it. Uh, Illusion. We picked this one up when we were driving mm -hmm. down to your family. Have oh, you played yeah. this before? I don't believe I have. Pins worse. It was, uh, it was one that we were going to play with your family down there, yeah. but we never got to it. Right! Another board game tables. This is their medium-sized games. You're at a picnic. Ants crawling along, picking up different picnic it's foods. It's super cute. It's lovely. It's a lovely puzzle. Caesar! Oh, that's fun. Did you put Blitzkrieg in as well? Blitzkrieg is inside <laughs> of Caesar. What? You yeah, they're both, they're both in there. It's not cheating. You fit uh, both games. Blitzkrieger, Blitzkrieg and Caesar Blitzkrieg? taking up uh, less game. of a footprint. That's an, that's an amazing game. Yes. You absolutely love that game. Yes. Head okay. to head, two person, fighting war in a minute. Factory Funner. 
this game. So we played it and the first like 20 minutes of the game, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. This game is so confusing. And then actually the puzzle started to click and it turned out to be really, really fun. So weird though. Yeah. So weird. We Lots got too many bones, an entire core set of too many bones, which adds like 10 awesome. pounds. Oh my gosh. Undertow. You and I have started playing this. Yeah. We're yeah. digging into it slowly but surely. We have Gloom, uh, second edition. This is going to be, this is a really intriguing one that you haven't had a chance to play yet. This is a game that's all about transparent cards and telling the most oh, horrific story of your family possible. You want everyone to die in the most tragic way Yay. you can Sounds imagine. Sounds exciting. Enchanted plumes. Oh, so much fun. You're building a peacock. Love this game. Tranquility. Lovely little game from, I believe, Lucky, Lucky Duck. Duck. Yeah. This is going to be a game where you're uh, matching out this oh, sequence. Oh, is this the one that I know? Yeah. Oh, I like this game so much. It's I lovely. Didn't know we had it. We played it with Alex, but yes, oh. we have our own copy. Yes. Yeah. They're so pretty, the artwork. Okay. What else you got there? Lorenzo, we have just started playing this for the oh, top 100 and we're, we're enjoying it. it. You must play with the expansion. The expansion adds a ton to the game I'm running experience. Out of space. I know you are. I'm going to start Imagine, them no, off no, no. again. Just keep piling them here. I'm you can very fill in engaged. the middle here a little bit. Oh, great intro to train games. Amazing intro to like 18xx, which is what we played immediately after yeah. playing Iberian Gage. Pa Pax Eman Emancipation. This might be you the heaviest. You picked this up when you went around to all the board game stores yes. and you're like, I'm going to go buy so many different things and you all have yet to things. play any of those but things. But it made a great video. It, uh, Pax it, Emancipation is probably the heaviest game in the box in one of the smallest packages. Yeah, uh, yeah this is like, it literally, it says like hours on here for gaming time. Yeah, I it's insane. Yeah, two to three hours. Critters at War. Oh, Airland and Sea. That's also inside the box. Yay. Yeah, both of them are there, just in case you I want to. I saw you through the Airland and Sea box did. out. Yeah, we have this. Do you not think I'm going to save it after this we video? We should probably still save it after the video. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, Tale of Merchants 3. You didn't put the big box in here? No, this is the one with Quackalope in it, though, so that counts. No. We're actually on count. the artboard there. Friday, amazing little solo game, just in case she decides she doesn't want to spend time with me after we've played through every title. Currently in the game. I never want to spend time with you. You are leaving the best behind. Eh, eh, eh. Take him you out. You grab this one? Yes. All right. Zombicide Black. Zombicide Black. Black. We fit uh, a core box of Zombicide in with all these other games. I'm telling you, of course we had to squeeze some things and, you know, grab some small box games, but every game we're showing off here is a quality game that yeah. we would genuinely bring with us, sure. that we would play, yep. and that actually fits in here. That's the core. Wow. That's the base open. Now, what Sheer was talking about is you can actually turn it sideways like this. And then you start stacking them in like this. And you have your own shelf, basically, like a calyx for yourself. Yep. And then way. you see them all organized. Let me very flip nicely. this back up because if people have been counting, that has not been quite 51. 51. Game. Here's the where you crazy cheated. thing. I, I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat. Jing, which is going to be a tiny little small box game. Never played it. I need to. A fan sent this to us. Okay. To give it a try. I, of course, am going to slip in. The Quiet Year, which another is going RPG. to be another uh, solo writing RPG, which I'm really, plays. which I would really like to play sometime soon. Ever. And then, uh, button shy games. We have a few button shy games. We also have a few. Oh, these little things. Yeah, a few gumstick <laughs> games. These are they're not these the heaviest hilarious. game, and they're not the best games ever. But honestly, if you want a little slip in the pocket, grab and go, entertain yourself. Yeah. They're not terrible solutions. The same thing, of course is going to be true with one of the companies that we but like. But Enjoy, on the other hand, we are like actually quite a quality, lot. fun games. We just played Skulls of Sudlack on Friday. Button Shy is one of those companies. You, obviously. They put out so many titles from so many different designers that not all of them are going to be right for you in your gaming Correct. group. But this stack of cards here have genuinely some of our favorite yeah. games contained in little wallet-sized cards. We have Motion Pictures. Uh, we have... Uh, I can't read that title. <laughs> Horios. Horios. We haven't played that one yet. Yeah. We have Tussie Mussy. We In have Vino Morte, we brought In that Vino out Morte. when we were at PAX. That's a little like wine drinking one, like the... Uh, yeah, you're trying to kill your friends. Basically. Uh, basically from the Princess Bride. We have Food, Food Chain, Chain Island, Island, which I've heard is fantastic. Rove, Rove is a solo puzzle that is a fun to play. Amazing little solo puzzle. We have uh, Ogmenian, A Clash of Popes. Which is another one we picked up at the convention but haven't had a chance to play. Agropolis. Agropolis. Very similar to Sprawlopolis, which is so much fun. It's Circle the, the Wagon, also. Circle the Wagon, and I hope we have the solo mode for Circle the Wagon because I actually really enjoy that. Sprawlopolis is amazing. Antimony. Antimony is going to be we a that one. Um, dueling mage game. Yes, it is. Kind of lane battler in a skulls way. Skulls of Sedlak. And it's Skulls to build of Sedlak. a pyramid Sedlak. of different skulls and a skulls, cemetery. Skulls is. is 
Alex is one of Alex's number one yeah. and one of our favorites as well. We literally just sat down for a relaxing evening the other day just to play Skulls. Yeah, we did. Uh, so there you have it. Something like 51 games in in one board game backpack. Yeah. And we didn't we didn't break any seams. We didn't stitch anything up. Yeah. It's got a handle. Granted, so it's got all a carry case. Is that it does get a little heavy. Oh my you. gosh. <laughs> it gets so heavy. I am surprised we that trade the, off with carrying. I get yeah. worried about the straps falling off oh, my so back. Oh, so do I. Because of how much weight you can squeeze into yeah. this game. Now, if you're just going over to a friend's I house... I bet you can even squeeze a person in there. Yeah. A small person. Probably. At least one dog. Yeah. Yeah. An ash, certainly. An ash. If you're going over to a friend's house uh, and grabbing some games to go with you, I, uh, I personally use and run around with board game tables bags. Um, so much fun. So... That, that, I just thought would be a, uh, a fun video. We talked about it at the convention. We were packing everything up, and we knew they had a... a uh... People actually were watching me, like, organize yeah. the bag. I We had picked one up, and we had a whole bunch of games and a bunch of bags. And I'm like, I'm going to just sit down and put yeah. all these away. And people just started watching me, like, fit and cram them all in. And well, that's like, where the conversation uh, yeah. started of how many do you think we yeah. could squeeze into this bag? I bet I asked them. I was like, I could do it better, but who's counting? I, I picked not only titles that I, I thought know. would fit well... But also, I wanted titles that we would actually travel and play with. Oh, we would. 100%. Uh, you know, some of these we need to play. So this you know, is actually up. a widespread of different. This is games and style games. I, and I, it's a great if I walked selection. over to someone's house with this collection that I just pulled out, I could be there for three weeks. I would be perfectly happy with their collection of games. This is uh, about everything you need. So if you're going on vacation, I don't know. Swing over, check out the Kickstarter, see what you like, or yeah. don't. Maybe you don't travel at all. I don't. Not ever. Never travel? Never have. All right. No, yeah. I've been here for as long as they liar, know. Liar, liar. Actually, that's not even true. I can't even pretend like <laughs> I live in this vacuum of a room. They watch me travel on the vlog every weekend. Exactly. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Whatever remember the case, whatever you do, do, remember doing the important get out and play some games. We'll see, see you next time. time. Thank you.